Have you sent to Bottom's house? Is he come home yet? He cannot be heard of. Out of doubt, he is transported. If he come not, then the play is marred. It goes not forth, does it? It is not possible. There is no man in all of Athens who can discharge Pyramus but he. He hath simply the best handicraft of any man in Athens. Yea, and the best person, too. And he had a paramour of a sweet voice. We must say paragon. A paramour is, God bless us, a thing of naught. Uh, uh, masters, the duke is coming from the temple, and there is two or three lords and ladies more married. Uh, first lord had gone forward. We had all been made men. Oh, sweet bully bottom. Thou hast not lost sixpence a day during his life, and he could not have escaped sixpence a day, and the duke had not given him sixpence a day for playing Pyramus. Where are these lads? Where are these hearts? Bottom? Oh, most courageous day, almost oh, happy hour! Masters, I discourse wonders, but ask me not what, for if I tell you I am no true thief, I will tell you everything right as it fell out. Well, let us hear, sweet bottom. No more words. All I will tell you is that the Duke hath died. Get your apparel together, get good strings for your beards, new ribbons for your pumps, meet presently at the palace, Every man look for his part, for, in short and long of it is, our play is preferred. In any case, let it be half to me. And let she that plays the lion not tear her nails, for they shall hang out as the lion's paws. No more words. Away! Go away! 